Hello everyone, this is V and I am back with another let's play. Um, I have been thinking about this and I chose this setup. I'm not sure if that will be enjoyable. I think France is extremely weak. Chateau does not absolutely nothing. The Musketeers are only good for a very small window of time. And only if you will conquest. And the City of Light Bulbs is only good for the culture game. So we'll see if we can get that done. But I don't have life and triumph. especially high hopes. First Consul and Emperor of France, Napoleon I, ruler of the French people. France lies at the heart of Europe. Long has Paris been the world center of culture, arts, and letters. Although surrounded by competitors and often enemies, France has endured as a great nation. Its armies have marched triumphantly into battle from one end of the world to the other, its soldiers and generals among the best in history. Napoleon Bonaparte, France yearns for you to rebuild your empire, to lead her once more to glory and greatness, to make France once more the epicenter of culture and refinement. Emperor, will you ride once more against your foes? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Let's see what we got. Um, hmm. We have a lake, so there is no need to settle on the coast of that. Uh, other than that, I think we should move... Oh, sorry. The options are still on. I like to see the motions. I'll move over here. I have a lot of hill tiles, so I think I will settle right here. That should be decent food, kind of. And I know that it is uh, probably getting quite old. But we will be going pottery. And we will be building a scout. And the food here is really horrendous. It's an earth map, so I think we should figure out where we are. Um, hmm. I don't actually know. It could be... Um, maybe... Where... Uh, what... What has a lake? The United States, perhaps? This could be the Grand Canyon. That's a possibility. Guess we'll have to see. There's a desert here. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Um, I've gone for the workers a few times. I think that's the same here. Uh, I can't see myself going anything but tradition. And I know that it takes quite a while, but... Skipping on the monument isn't a big, a big deal right now. We can't grow quickly anyway.
Mm. Yeah, this might be the United States. And there we go with the tradition. Uh, let's see. If we want to go culture, the first thing we want to do is uh, go science. We have a lot of wine, we have some marble here. Uh, might as well go for that. First things first though, we're gonna build some farms here and then go calendar. So yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Let's check out the ruins there. Oh, in the city state. That's very nice. Hmm. I'm going to need to expand here. But where to go? That's another question entirely. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's also quite good. Not the best, but it'll do quite nicely. And now, a granary isn't great here, but we really need to grow. Do I think a shrine is good? It might be. We might actually get a pantheon. Mm. Don't like any of these choices. We'll see what happens. This seems to be another very unit light game at the early part. Uh, don't seem to have any AIs near. And that's a nice location to settle. And probably somewhere around here, but don't really like these tiles to settle on. 
because they are very light on the food. Unless, of course, you could get better, but I don't really see that happening. I can get one, two farms in, but that's it. Then I have sheep, so that's six food if I settle here, and then one, two, three, the pearls here, but yeah, I don't like that particularly much. And then this location probably for the copper and those tiles. That seems to be of higher priority. And we have Lapenta in between us and the south. It's going to be quite convenient. Because that obviously means that they can't come north, or at least not early on. We'll steal that one. And yeah. I'll grow before I go to uh, farm the wine. <coughs> and I'll send the warriors to the camp here. Um, what do we do next? I don't think it matters particularly much. Okay. Stonehenge, 31 turns. We will not get that. We could, of course, lock down these tiles. But that's still 23. Truth is, we don't actually have good production. So, yeah. I'm gonna stick with that and just build the granary. Really need to grow before building a few uh, settlers. And this is a this is not a not a good start. We're gonna be way way behind. And might have been correct to uh, take liberty here. But that ship has sailed. Don't think at this point it's a good plan to go for the uh, free settlers. That just seems like a little bad. Yeah. 
Let's trade blows. Mm, they can become anti-jungle. And the rest is fine. I think, yeah, it's okay. I'll keep firing on them. Eventually, probably clear the camp. Yep, it can grow into that. And if they move up, I can shoot and kill them. Or that. Uh, no, the terrain is fine. Um, husband driven. We'll get around to writing soon enough. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go here, work that tile. And this one can do the wine when he is done. There goes the great library, as expected, turn 30. As usual. And I'll just shoot that in favor of getting that last point of experience. That's a nice pantheon, actually. Mm. Yeah, better move up. And we are about ready to grow again. And now things can get rolling. But it's already turn 32, of course. Oh, more experience. So, it's soon going to be time to expand. And... what should we do? Mm, I think this is equivalent to building a settler at the moment. Yeah, I should really have done animal husbandry first. Then I could have built a caravan. Things seem slow, which is odd because my PC isn't doing anything else. The idea is here not to get Stonehenge, but just to get money. I want to be size 6. No, uh, should work that. Uh, that's something I forgot. It's not a huge difference, but it's a turn. Yeah, actually... Yeah, it's fine. It should be okay. That is the, mm, yeah, that's that's a little better. I don't need money. 
I do want the money, but it's just better to get the caravan out earlier, then I can start on my library. We're already way behind, but it is what it is. Which time is next? Yeah. It's gonna take a while. Like that. We're losing too, but it's not important. And they are maxed on bark speed. wonder who is hiding down here <laughs> but I can't reach it I guess that's my punishment then and I'll just heal up That's really annoying. Of course it also protects me. Can do without that. Having no one near you is a little bad at the very earliest part, but we will probably be able to expand without problems now. I have to juggle with the uh, with the worker a bit. Um, yeah. And when I grow, I will probably build a settler soon after. I'm gonna go for masonry next. Oh right, recently. But it's at least safer than the, op than the other option. There we go. Masonry it is. And the library. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna steal that. That would be quite malicious. Eh, couldn't have built Stonehenge. But at least we'll get some money from that. Uh, question, what to do next? Are we gonna go monarchy? Yeah, I think so.
So one shit city one city should go here, one should go over there, and then the third one should be well somewhere here I think. Yeah. Here then it would have one, two, one, two, three. It would have that tile then would have this, but that's not particularly incredibly good. Um yeah. And yeah, this could have been so much more efficient. That was old to say the least. It's already turn 50 and we are melting and are ridiculously far behind. We have no natural wonders, we have no regular wonders, and <laughs> we have just a bunch of empty land. So, yeah. Eight turns, yeah. And that's how it always gets postponed.